so I remember there was different synchronicities happening like this where Islam kept on coming up. And I felt like, I felt like even Hazim, as we were saying, like, you don't know this? Like, you Muslim, right? You don't know? You don't pray? You don't? And I felt, I generally felt embarrassed. But at the same time, I, w I was, I had this non-blind following mentality. Yeah, I was very independent in my in my thoughts, in my opinions, etc. So, so little by little, I started to. There was a Turkish guy, so they put me in a class where um, for people who don't know French, there was a Turkish guy, and uh, and he said, "You Muslim, right? Your name, Mama, do Mahmoud, Mom. and he showed me Surah Al Fatiha in his phone, and I said, "Send it to me, send it to me." He sent it to me. It was generally, I remember, Subhanallah, it's. It was like, like it was the first time I hear in Quran, recite it. Subhanallah. Imagine growing up in a in a Muslim family, right? My parents both were, were Muslim when I grew when I was born, so I was generally impressed. Like, oh, this Quran, Subhanallah. Oh, okay, you're yeah, saying to me, and when I went home, I showed my father. Look, there's a friend in my class. He sent me this. My father was surprised. Oh, Quran. Yeah, yeah. He's a good friend. Yeah, stay with him. <laughs> Allah stay Allah with him. Allah Back in those days with the phones, you had to hold them together. It was the yeah. infrared. Infrared, yeah. I think it was Bluetooth, Bluetooth. or something like that. But before Bluetooth. Before Bluetooth. You yeah. had to hold right. the sensor to the sensor. Yeah, and then I don't know how he even sent it to me. But yeah, I got home and my father was surprised. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Islam, yeah, yeah. And I think, uh, you know, my father and my mom, they didn't have m much knowledge in Islam. They love the deen, but they don't know how to convey it. Yeah, yeah. And of course, they're busy with their own life, etc. cetera. 